Hey guys, Trent Wanza here again today for EV West, and today I'm going to walk you through our conversion on this 1973 VW thing. All right, so this customer was after kind of an overlander thing where he could get a good amount of range out of it. So this car has 54 kilowatt hours worth of uh, Tesla batteries that were made for the smart EV that we repurposed for this vehicle. Also in this car are dual AC34s from HP EVS. This is a very trusty motor. We install these in a ton of cars. So this is a reliable package here for an actual overlander, long range kind of EV. Okay, so I'm just gonna walk you through some of the features up front here and then we'll work towards the back. Uh, we're gonna go with some of the mechanical features around the conversion. So these are things that the customer did. And this is one of our longtime customers. He's kind of an off-road enthusiast. So we added some cool things that kind of make this car reliable in uh, off-road type of scenario. So you see here, it has added onto it a custom fabricated front bumper, and this was made by Playtech up in Anaheim, California. He integrated a light bar and a winch inside that bumper. Uh, other features up front, and this is just kind of for drivability stuff, he's got some truck light LEDs up here and uh, upgraded LEDs and the blinkers just to stay energy efficient on the 12 volt side. All right. Another thing I want to cover is the charge port on this car. This is a J1772 charge port. And this car was converted a couple years ago. So at the time, we didn't have the solutions that we have now. You'll see this is all billet. Um, this is a custom machine solution for these cars. J1772 charge port for any public charge station. Um, what we're doing now with the things is a Tesla charge receptacle. So you can use a Tesla charge plug in the car and maintain that stock sheet metal. Okay, so you can see up front here, our customer's done some suspension upgrades as well. You've got a centerline style wheel wrapped in a Michelin all-terrain tire. Behind this package, there's a king coilover to give the front end of this car a little bit more height as well. And uh, it's a valvable shock, rebuildable, pretty sophisticated setup. All right, so some of you astute Volkswagen aficionados will note that this is uh, claimed to be a 73 Type 181, but it has the 1974 side pods. I think this was a conversion done before it came to us, but uh, we like the look. Another thing you'll note back here is this uh, custom tube bumper. I think this is also made by Playtech, and they've got a little nice skid pan underneath. Also a tow hook, because this car does have just enough horsepower to tow something light if you want. Also some additional LED uh, brake lights back here, just for some added safety. All right, so in the engine compartment here, we have dual AC34 motors from HP EVS. Uh, these are operated by Curtis 1238 controllers. Uh, just above it here, there's one and two. They both have this liquid cooling chill plate that we manufacture, and that's to make sure that the controller never gets above temperature and a dangerous uh, level of heat. Some other things you'll see back here in the engine bay. If you look closely, you'll see that that's EV West's billet adapter plate to run a Type 1 Volkswagen transmission with this dual motor setup. Uh, other things back here, you have four smart modules. So this is part of the battery pack in the rear. So back here, you'll see there's a coolant tank. That's for our glycol cooling system. All right, as with most of our conversions, we have our simple heads up gauges. Um, on the far left over here, you'll see our Expert Pro state of charge gauge, which gives you things like voltage, current, amp hour capacity, and uh, just a percentage of battery life left. In the center, you'll see just our standard speedometer with the odometer and a fuel tank gauge. Uh, over here, we have a tachometer 
by VDO, which was actually in the car, and we just repurposed it. Um, because these gauges next to it actually tell you the same thing. RPM, motor temperature, current, voltage, um, and controller temperature as well. So pretty much everything you need to operate the car is, is in these two gauges, and then this one just for following the speed limit. Uh, all right, so in the center here, you'll see we have a bank of switches. Uh, regen 1, Regen 2, which is either Econo mode or Regen mode. This charge switch, which is high, low charging rates, which is either 2,500 watt or 5,000 watt. The heat switch, which turns on a resistive style high voltage heater and pumps it out around your feet. Since this is a convertible, that's the most effective way. And light, which is the light bar. Okay. The last thing we've got at the controls here is the uh, two-speed transmission. So you have a, a low speed, a neutral, and a high speed. Um, and that'll get you all the way up to about 100 miles per hour with the setup. The other switch we have is down here, it's a momentary reverse. So you need to be holding this to be in reverse, which is kind of a safety feature. That way you don't hop in this car and accidentally take off in reverse at 30 miles an hour. All right, well, since the sun's going down, we're gonna soak up the last little bit of heat and go for a cruise up the 101. In the background here, you'll see uh, Seaside. This is one of our favorite San Diego surf spots. A particularly good point break uh, when there's a nice west swell coming in. So here on the EV show, we're just gonna take you around all of San Diego's beautiful surf spots because that's most of what we think about when we're not converting cars. rolls along pretty comfortably. Um, at about 50 miles an hour, we're doing around 2,000 RPM, which is a real efficient spot with these induction motors. Uh, we're pulling only about maybe 100 amps right now regularly. This car cruises really nicely. Since it's electric and you don't have this loud gas motor back here anymore, you can really talk to your passenger pretty easily, even though it's a convertible. You thought you'd have more to say, but that's... <laughs> All right, so here we're coming up on another famous uh, San Diego surf spot, which is right this point break over here, also known as Swami's. Probably one of the best rides in North County, next to Trestles. Oh, yeah, you'll see down, down near the footwell area, um, it's all Rhino lines, so this, this car does kind of maintain that off-roady utilitarian feel to it. Very rugged inside, not a lot of things to get dirty. You can just pull the floor mats out and hose them off if you need to. All right guys, thanks for joining us once again. Uh, check us out next time. We'll probably be reviewing another conversion or maybe one of the projects we have going in the shop. Take it easy.